Hey, Typo3 community, it's Matthias. And in this episode, we're going to take a look at some helpful UI changes for editors. Stay tuned. So first up, we moved the create new content element wizard into a modal. And we're going to take a look at how this looks like on our demo installation. So what you see right here is a very, very simple site with two columns of content. But imagine you have a lot of content in there. The editor scrolls down and wants to create a new content element at a certain position. What's happening now with the new modal is that you just click the new button, a modal window appears, the editor stays exactly where the editor was before, and you can now select a new content element. So we'll just go with another header element here and set it to another headline. And then we save and close it, and it will show up at the exact same space where you were before. So this should make editing faster for uh, regular editors. You don't have that many reloads. It's just a model that shows up very, very helpful. Another thing we changed, which is very helpful for editors, is that we will now show unused content elements in certain columns. So if we take a look at our demo site right here, you will see that we have a two column layout with the main column and a margin column on the right hand side. But what happens if we change the backend layout to a single column layout where the margin column is no longer there? What you now get is a warning box on top of the page module, which will actually tell the editor that there are unused content elements on the page. Um, and unused means they're located in a, in a column position that's not um, available in the current backend layout. So what the editor can do is just scroll down to the bottom, find the unused content element, and drag it into the correct position in an available column. The view gets refreshed, and the warning goes away. Again, very helpful for finding content elements that otherwise were just not visible anymore. And last but not least, we did some changes to the auto-suggest wizard, which is very helpful for your editors if they need to scoop through a lot of uh, records in your Typo3 backend. So we'll take a look what it actually does. So imagine you have an autocomplete uh, search box down here. And what you can do is you type my, and then you will get the results for my site and my other site. So you can now type my site, and you only have this result. The tricky thing is, imagine you have a lot of records say, thousands of users. And these users can have, you know, like search terms which don't really fit that well. You might have first name, comma, last name, or last name, comma, first name. All these kind of things are possible. Um, so what we now offer is that you can basically supply multiple search words and basically put a plus sign in between, which now makes the search go search for my and site in single terms. So you don't have to have one full search term to get the result. You can still do that simply by supplying a space character. It will then search for the specific term. But if you want to search for multiple terms, as you can see here with the my plus site, it will now find both my site and my other site. What you could also do is do something like my other, which works. Or you could just go for site, because we know it's a site, and we want to see the other one. So you see it works in multiple uh, ways around, and this should help editors find the records a lot faster. So this is enabled by default. Use it for your editors. Instruct your editors that this uh, functionality is in place. And that's it for this episode. That's why it's called Quick Tips. And we'll see you next time.